Disney, Lady and the Trump, Magical Story. Lady lived very happily with her owners, Darling and Jim Deere. When Lady grew up, they gave her a collar with a name tag. Lady proudly showed her collar to her friends, Jack and Trusty. She's a full-grown lady, said Jack. Trump was a dog who lived on the streets, living off scraps and helping his friends escape the dog catcher. One day, Trump overheard Lady saying that Jim Deere and Darling were expecting a baby. What's a baby? Lady asked. A home wrecker. That's what, said Trump. Lady's happy life was about to change. When Jim Deere and Darling decided to take a trip, Aunt Sarah came to take care of the baby. Her two Siamese cats came too. Aunt Sarah was not very nice to Lady. Her two cats were not very nice either. They made a mess of the house and pretended that Lady caused the trouble. Oh, that weak animal, said Aunt Sarah. Aunt Sarah took Lady straight to the pet store. I want a good, strong muzzle, Aunt Sarah said. The muzzle scared Lady. She jumped off the counter and ran out the door, not knowing where she was going. Lady ran and ran. Soon some big, mean dogs started to chase her. Lady was scared and ran into an alley. Luckily, Trump heard all the barking and raced to Lady's rescue. Oh, poor kid, said Trump, looking at Lady's muzzle. We've got to get this thing off. Come on. Trump took Lady to the zoo. Maybe one of the animals could help her. The apes, the alligator, and the hyena were no help at all. Then Lady and Trump found the beaver. He loved to chew and soon beat right through the muzzle strap. It's off, Lady said with relief. The beaver was happy too. He could use the muzzle as a handy dandy log puller. Lady and Trump thanked the beaver and left the zoo together. Then Trump took Lady to supper at Tony's restaurant. Trump's friend Tony liked Lady and fed the pair his specialty, spaghetti and meatballs. Trump and Lady accidentally picked up the same piece of spaghetti. The next thing they knew, they were kissing. Lady and Trump were falling in love. They went to watch the moon rise over the city. The next morning, on the way home, Lady and Trump passed a chicken coop. Ever chase chickens? Trump asked. He couldn't resist. Lady did not like the idea, but she followed him anyway. The chickens ran around the yard, squawking and squealing. Hey, what's going on in there? The farmer called. Lady and Trump ran away as fast as they could, but Trump soon discovered that Lady wasn't behind him. She had run into the dog catcher and was taken to the dog pound. Lady was scared to be at the dog pound, but soon the dog catcher came. Reading her collar, he knew where to take her. You're too nice a girl to be in this place, he said, and returned Lady to Aunt Sarah. At home, Aunt Sarah chained Lady to the dog house in the backyard. Lady was so sad, even Jack and Trusty could not cheer her up. Then Trump arrived. Lady was angry with him. She told Trump had only looked out for himself and had let her get caught. He tried to explain. I told you were right behind me. Honest, he said. Goodbye and take this with you. Lady said, returning the bone, Trump 
had given her. Just then, Lady saw a rat creeping into the baby's room. She couldn't chase it because of the chain. She could only bark. Stop that, Aunt Sarah called. Hush. But Trump heard and rushed back to Lady. What is it? Trump asked. A rat in the baby's room, Lady replied. Trump ran into the house and saw the rat. He had to catch that rat before it hurt the baby. Meanwhile, Lady was barking with all her might and pulling on the heavy chain. At last, the chain broke free from the doghouse. Lady ran inside to help Trump. Trump had chased the rat under the baby's crib and accidentally knocked it over, making the baby cry. But Lady was happy because the baby was safe. Trump had finally caught the rat. Aunt Sarah was not happy, however. The baby's crying had woken her up, and she had found Lady and Trump in his room. She thought they were hurting the baby. She called the dog catcher to come for Trump. The dog catcher soon arrived and put Trump in his wagon. Just then, Jim Deer and Darling came home. Lady tried to explain what had happened. She lifted the curtain to show that Trump had caught the rat and saved the baby. Jack and Rusty had a plan to stop the dog catcher's wagon. They barked loudly, scaring the horses. The wagon crashed and Trump was saved. Jim Deer and Lady found him and took him back to their home. The next Christmas Eve, Jack and Rusty came by to see Lady, Trump, and their four new puppies. They've got their mother's eyes, said Rusty. There's a bit of their father in them too, said Jock, watching a mischievous little gray puppy. Everyone was happy that Trump had become part of the family. Thanks for watching.